Welcome everybody. My name is Lisa and today on Pressure Crisp we're going to be doing a roast beef in the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're not going to serve it as a roast beef. What we're going to do with this succulent delicious roast, we're going to make some amazing roast beef sandwiches. <sighs> There's nothing more I can say. A roast beef sandwich is so delicious. So come on over and let's get started. What I like to do is make the sauce for the roast beef sandwich first. Today we're going to be making a horseradish cream sauce. So I like to start with a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of mayo. Just use your mayo of choice. I'm using Hellman's. We're also going to be putting in a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of vinegar, I'm using rice wine today. I'm also going to be adding a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of horseradish. You can add less or you can add more. I'm putting in a tablespoon. We're going to give this a go. Now what we're going to do next we're just going to whisk all these ingredients together. Now you want to make this ahead of time because you want this to sit in the fridge. Um, you can do two hours, but like four hours would be better. It's going to take a taste of this. More horseradish. There's just not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and add like a tablespoon more. So I noticed you barely taste the horseradish when you just add one. Let me get another spoon because I don't want to double dip. Mmm. That's better. I can taste the horseradish. I think I'm going to add, this might be overpowering it, but the horseradish is good. I'm going to go ahead and add like another half a tablespoon of horseradish. But just do what I'm doing. Just taste it as you're making it. There we go. Perfect. So three tablespoons of horseradish for my liking. So what I'm going to do is cover this with saran wrap and pop it in the fridge. Before I prepare the meat. Now I do want to tell you that I took the meat out probably like 30 minutes ago. This is a three and a half pound roast. You want to make sure your roasting rack is in. The splatter screen is in. You're going to go ahead and lower the lid. So your Ninja Foodie's on. I'm going to select Roast. We're going to turn the temp down to 350 and we're going to hit Start. Right now it's just preheating. Now I'm just making a wet rub for the roast. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. You can use whatever type of oil that you want. That's probably like two or three tablespoons of oil. I am going to go ahead and add Dijon mustard and yes we're going to get it everywhere. Maybe like one to two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. You just want that slight hint of mustard in there. I'm going to go ahead. You can use fresh garlic if you want. I'm just using what I have in the house. I have some granulated garlic. So I'm going to add like a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Once again, this recipe, take this recipe and it's variable. You can use as much or as little garlic that you want. Use a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon. So they probably added like one to two teaspoons of rosemary. We're going to put some black pepper in here. It's like a half a teaspoon. And of course some kosher salt. I'm just going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of kosher salt. And we're just going to whisk this together. And this is perfect. I'm just going to set this off to the side and we're going to bring that lovely roast over. So what you see in front of you, this is a three and a half pound rump roast. I find it's an inexpensive cut of meat and I find this makes excellent roast beef sandwiches. And I do want to trim this up just a bit, just take some of these larger fat pieces off. This one seems to have quite a bit of fat on it. And you can leave on as much fat or as little fat that you want on this um, roast. 
I am going to take salt and pepper and just put it all over. I know there's salt and pepper in the marinade or the rub, the wet rub, but I just like to give just a little extra salt to each side. Once again, personal preference, you don't have to add all this salt. I'm going to go ahead and add some more black pepper. We're going to take that marinade, and you can put gloves on if you want. I'm just using my hands. I'm going to start cooking this roast, the fat side up, the fat cap side up, even though this one has fat on both sides. I'm going to start putting the marinade on this side, this side, and this side. Then I'll flip it over and finish off the top. So we're just going to take some of that wet rub, and you're just going to massage this meat. You're going to rub it into all the nooks and crannies. Just like so. Nah, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now tell me that isn't gorgeous. All right, I want to see comments down below. And tell me this isn't beautiful. And this is all set to go. One last order of business. We are going to be using the meter app. So you try to get it right in the middle, and there's a little notch, where is it? Right there. You wanna make sure it's in past that mark right there. So I think that's the middle. We're doing the best we can here. That's all set up. And here's your meter app. I'm working from behind here, so let me see if I can do this. Where it says no cook set up, so we're gonna hit, hit that. We're going to hit Tap Setup Cook, we're going to choose Beef, uh, Roast, let's see, Rump. Now this wants it to do 135. Now you can manually adjust this to where you would like it. So we're going to choose Rare, but we're going to bring it down even further. Because we tend to like it super rare. So I'm looking for an internal temp, there we go, we're going to do 115. I'm looking for an internal temp of 115. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit start cook to make sure we're connected. So we're going to go ahead and put that roast in the Ninja Foodi. We're going to raise the lid. Now please be careful and also watch out for the meter app because you don't want it to scratch the sides. So just going to take that piece of meat and hear that sizzle. We're going to go ahead and lower the lid. We're going to Bump this up to one hour. One hour. Here's the meter app again. Internal temp 42, the target is 115, and the ambient inside there is 258. It keeps going up. Now the meter app is estimating the cook time. This tends to take up to five minutes, anywhere between five and ten minutes for that, for this algorithm to figure out how long it's gonna take to cook. But I'm gonna come back and probably We'll check it in like 20 or 30 minutes. It's been about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise the lid. That is looking perfect, gorgeous, all the above. What I like to do is I'm gonna flip this. Please be careful because this will be hot. All right, what's happening right now is see how it's doing that. So what I'm gonna do is get a piece of parchment paper. We're gonna ball it up. Since this is too high, it's gonna hit the Splatter guard or the guard. Be careful when you do this. Basically what I'm doing, I'm putting a piece of parchment paper. You don't want to use aluminum foil because it might scratch the bottom of the roasting pan. And that perfectly levels it out. So what we're going to do is just close the lid and we're going to come back in 15 minutes and turn this over. Let's go on over to the meter app. So as you can see, according to the meter app, it took like 10 or 12 minutes for it to figure out the remaining cook time. We have 25 minutes left on the cook time, and internal temperature is 66. Our target is 115, and the ambient, of course, it's down because we opened it, and I had to keep it open for a bit. So it's 265. I will tell you an exact time on how long this will cook for at the end. And also, we'll be back in 15 minutes because I want to flip it right back over again so we get that top nice, crispy, and crunchy. Okay. Open the lid and take a look-see in here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it back over. 
Yeah, this is this is beautiful. Now I am going to take the parchment paper out because I don't want it to fly. Well, it won't fly around, but it might get sucked up by the fan. And I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. So we're 80. According to the meter app, this will be done in 11 minutes. I wanted everyone to see this. The meter app will alarm you when there's five minutes left before the cook time. It'll keep beeping to remind you. We have one minute left on the cook time. The internal temperature is 102. Our target we're looking for is 115. Now also with this app, if you press here, that tells you the cook time. It tells you how long it took to cook this roast. It's fantastic. And I hit it again, it, go back, it goes back to the one minute. Remove from heat. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this from the heat. So it took like 44 minutes and a seconds, but we're, we're just gonna round it up to about 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the lid. And I use a spatula and one of these mitts. And these mitts, see how dirty it gets? These wash up and they clean up great. So we're just gonna pick this up. I'm gonna put it right on to a baking rack with a sheet pan underneath. Now you're going to leave the meter thermometer in because it's going to tell me what temperature it will go up to once it's fully done resting. And the app even tells you how long it needs to rest and everything else. To be honest with you, I can't say enough good things about this meter app. Really. Check it out on Amazon. Uh, read about it. Read the reviews. I've only had one time where it didn't connect. Um, I had to shut my phone off, restart the phone. See, now it's telling us it's 11 minutes remaining for the resting. I'm gonna, probably going to rest this a bit longer. And then we're going to slice some of this roast beef off. And we're going to make, be making an amazing roast beef sandwich. It's telling me it's ready. So I've already started cutting it. But you want to use a very sharp knife. And you want to cut this as thin as you can get for this roast beef sandwich. Like that. Once again, you're gonna need a sharp knife. If you have a slicer, definitely use a slicer. I don't have one, I should probably get one. But look at that, that's beautiful. This is perfect for us. Once again, cook it to the temperature that you want it. This is your roast, make it your own, and make it the way that you want it. Now it's time to construct the sandwich. We're using uh, small ciabatta rolls today. You're gonna go to the refrigerator and grab that horseradish, so horseradish sauce, I can't talk. And you're just gonna put, just place some right on the ciabatta. You can put as little or as much as you want of this sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on both sides. Perfect. Now you can use gloves if you're cooking for somebody else. I'm just, I'm gonna grab some, this is arugula and spinach combined. I couldn't get plain arugula today, so I just had to use what I could find at my market. You're gonna take a handful of that and place that right on the bottom, just like that. You're gonna grab some of that roast beef and you're just gonna place it right on top. Yeah, this, this is going to be an excellent sandwich. Do you can actually right now add a little bit more salt and pepper because the inside of the roast beef is not seasoned, it's just the outside. You're gonna place its little hat right on top, just like that. Now, that is a beautiful thing. What I like to do is put a bamboo, <clears throat> bamboo, a bamboo skewer through so you can look at this gorgeous sandwich. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of the sauce on the outside, but look at that. Holy mackerel. Now that's a sandwich. 
Now that the sandwich is done, we're going to go ahead and do that taste test. Yes, it's time for that taste test. Look at this. Fantastic. Let me take one of the bamboo skewers out. Now we're going to try to take a bite of this. All right, let's pray we don't drop the other one. Sorry. This sandwich is delicious. The horseradish kicks it up. It is so good and look at my face. So if you like this video, <laughs> this sandwich is good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notifications button. And thank you so much for watching. Delicious. Mmm, good.